We've had a lot of conversations about the future. He has not asked me to be his vice president. Whoever he asks is going to have, I think, a remarkable ability to serve this country in taking that America First agenda even further. I think one of the things about Donald Trump I've seen in him, and again, it's not one of these things that comes across, I think, on television. He is more ambitious for this second term to be even more successful on what we all view as a successful first term. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And so whoever he asks, I think, has a great opportunity, but also duty to serve this country. And I am rooting for the strongest ticket that we have seen in my lifetime. I think that's what we have the potential for this fall. And I also think that there's an opportunity to select somebody who both, at one hand, expands the base of voters, minorities, young voters, people who haven't historically come to the Republican Party, but do it in a way that does not compromise on the America First principles and the America First vision that the Republican primary base voted for when they put Donald Trump there resoundingly. So that's what I'm